Hello everyone, welcome to our lecture video on time value of money. So on our chapter uh, in general economics, so we'll be learning about time value of money. So this is going to be our introduction class. In the uh, next video, we'll be talking more about this uh, chapter. So it is uh, not possible to complete all of this in a single video. So I'll be enlisting other chapter, uh, other topics related to time value of money uh, on our playlist and we'll be continuing it as 3.0, 3.1, 3.2 and so on. You can find the link in the description box below. So first let's talk about time value of money. So as you can see here in our time value of money, first we'll be talking about introduction. So first we have time, value and money. So in the introduction a portion where we will simply talk about the relation of money. Relation of money. So we are going to relation of money and time value. So we're going to simply understand the relationship between uh, money and time value. So what does uh, so so does the money increase or decrease with our change in time value? So zero, one, two, three. So right now in our current year, let's say we have hundred dollars. So in the one year from now, is the value of hundred dollars going to be hundred dollars, or it is going to change into it is or it is going to be hundred ten dollars or decrease into ninety five dollars. So basically, uh, on on our separate time value of money, we are going to learn whether a certain sum of money is going to increase or decrease or remain the same with change in time. So let's begin this with an example. So we have two options: option A and option B. So under our option A, so what we are be, uh, getting as an option is you can choose hundred dollars right now. You can choose hundred dollars right now. Or in option B, what we have is we can choose hundred dollars in time period of five years from now so which option are you going to choose option a or option b without even having any knowledge of uh, economics or finance of course you're going to choose option a because you are getting hundred dollars right now you can use this money to spend right now and in uh, if you have to wait five years you're not going to get anything in return you're just going to get the same hundred dollars so just waiting worthlessly for five years or just getting the hundred dollars right now of course you're going to choose option a this is a really simple option but if you give an option of choosing hundred dollars right now hundred dollars right now or or another option of three hundred dollars in the option of five years so which option are you going to choose so uh, you might be thinking oh i'm getting hundred dollars right now but in five, if I wait five years, I'm going to get uh, three hundred dollars. So if you say uh, option B, you might be correct or you might not be correct because with time, so with increase in time, with increase in time, the value of money decreases. The value of money, value of money decreases with decreases with time. Value of money simply decreases with uh, time. So that is the basic rule of our time value of money. So in order to uh, in order to be in profit uh, for, for our option B, we have to have greater sum. So right now, uh, three hundred dollars is more than uh, is more than hundred dollars. But is it sufficient or not? So this is our. So in order to understand this topic more clearly, uh, we have terms like present value, future value. So we'll be talking about this uh, talking about this later on. So let me give you one more example to understand time value of money more clearly so let's say we have a packet of biscuit over here packet of biscuit this is a packet of biscuit so right now so right now uh, let's say you are uh, paying uh, paying 10 rupees to buy this packet of biscuit in the time period of 10 years in the time period of 10 years for this same biscuit no any change in quantity no any, no any change in quality how much are you going to pay of course you are going to pay more amount of money this is because of the inflation rate and many economic factors uh, uh, increase in demand inflation rates and many factors uh, let's say you are going to pay rupees 20 so you're going to pay rupees 20 so this rupees 10 and rupees uh, so in the time of 10 uh, so in the time of 10 years this rupees 10 is going to be not equal but equ equivalent to this rupees 20 so this is our present value which is known as pv this is our future value so in the time period of 10 years the present value of rs10 changes to rs20 so we can uh, so we can be more clear uh, this with your own example in our childhood uh, small amount of money like uh, uh, small amount of money had greater value suppose uh, let's say the rupees 20 or rupees 30 had greater value in our childhood while rupees 20 or 30 have no have uh, have less or uh, have less or no value right now so right now the rupees 10 or uh, 10 or 30 might be equivalent to rupees 100 or rupees 150 which we use right now so, so just the basic value of a uh, basic example of how money and time are related and uh, with how with uh, time um, 
the money's value is going to be in, uh, is going to be is going to be different so this is also known as our economic equivalence economic equivalence because uh, for our uh, for the same products so for the same product biscuit uh, for the same product biscuit the price has changed so the rupees 10 and rupees 20 are going to be econo economical equivalent they are not economically equal they are economically uh, equivalent we will be uh, learning more about economic uh, equivalence in our further videos so right now we will be focusing focusing more on time value of money so now for uh, whatever uh, example i gave so in order to just conclude it in conclude uh, all those so what does time value of mean it means it simply means uh, it simply means that uh, it simply means that a sum of money a sum of money is worth more now than the same sum of money in future than the uh, than the same sum of money in future so this is what basically time value of uh, money means so right now if we have a uh, hundred dollars and in uh, five years of time we have uh, so this is at time zero years and this is at time five years so this hundred dollars right now its value is going to be greater than five years because with this hundred dollars if we can buy let's say uh let's uh, let's say if we can if we can buy 10 items suppose any 10 items uh in a uh, five years of time because of increasing demand because of increasing inflation various source factors in a time of five years we might be able to just buy uh eight nine or eight nine or seven items but this is going to be less than 10 items so this is so this is how time value of money works so right now at time t equals to zero this is known as our present value which is note it as pv and this uh and uh, let's say uh let's just uh, uh let's say in five years of time let's, let's suppose for right now just suppose the hundred dollar is going to be equal to hundred fifty dollars and with this hundred fifty dollars you are going to you are going to be able to buy the same ten items will be able to buy same time uh, same time 10 items so they are not equal so they are not equal in sense uh, but they are equivalent so you can say equivalent equivalent in terms of these uh, items they are equivalent but uh, this present value of hundred dollars in the time of five years time t equals to five years uh, it is going to be equal to its future value which denote it uh, which we denote it as fb future value fb equals to 150 dollars so this is what basically time value of money means so we have terms like uh, present value future value and we are going to determine the future value or present value from from either one of them by uh, using our certain formula which involves i which is our interest rate which belongs our n and t so t basically means our time and n means our number of compounding period per year so we'll be talking more about this so now firstly uh, let's move on to our uh, formulas for uh, future value and uh, time value of money so let me just write down over here so next we are going to use the term i which is our interest rate and next we have our uh, n so n is a very important term so n what is basically n means n means number of compounding periods per year number of number of compounding periods number of compounding periods per year so what does this mean so this basically means uh, let's say if i have a sum of hundred dollars and i am uh, deposit i have deposited it in a bank uh, which gives me 10 percent uh, 10 percent interest so this is going to be my present value and 10 percent is going to be my uh, is going to be my interest i and uh, let's say i have uh, deposited in the bank for a time period of uh, three years this is going to be my t now for my uh, n so what is going to be my n is n means basically how many times the interest are going to be compounded in that sum of money so let's say the n means one so what does n means n means uh, what does n mean here n means that n refers to one means that for that hundred dollars sum of money the interest is going to be applied once it is going to be applied uh, once every year once every year but let's say the value of n was two per year it for one in a year one in a year 
so previously was once in a year which means the interest is going to be applied only once in a year but if this was twice in a year it means this 10 percent rate is going to be applied every six months for a time period of two years it's going to be it's going to be applied every uh, two years which means my actual interest rate for uh, uh for a year is 20 percent for a year is 20 percent it should be more exam more clear when we'll be doing a uh, uh, example so let's move on to our numerical example so before jumping into example so i've already uh, talked about our pv present value future value i means our interest n means our number of compounding period per year and t means our time period so let's just uh, put on my uh, let us let me give you a uh, formula for calculating our present value and future value so our formula simply is uh, future value equals to present value into present value into 1 plus i divided by n n into t so in order to calculate our future value from present value or or in order to calculate our uh, present value from future value we are, we are going to use this formula you can note down this formula this is a very important uh, formula so so let me give you a little bit of a note as well so many uh, many students get confused over here while uh, in especially in the case of n other are really simple so let's see if we have uh, in our uh, question it is given as compounded annually compounded annually in our question let's say it is given comp the, let's say the certain sum of interest is compounded annually it means the interest is applied interest is uh, applied for per year or once in a year so in that case n is going to be equal to one but let's say if it is given as semi compounded which means the interest is going to be applied that certain sum of interest is going to be applied every six months so in that case n is going to be equal to two and uh, for the case of uh, quarter the uh, it is going to be four and so on so firstly uh, let's move on to uh, move on to an example so you need to note down the note down this formula fb equals to pv into uh, one plus i divided by n raised to the power n into t so we'll be using that formula to solve uh, to solve uh, n numerical so now let's move on to our example so we have uh, assume a sum of money ten thousand dollar is invested for one year at a 10 percent interest rate compounded annually find the future value of that money so for this what we need to find is we need to find the future value of the money and we have been given uh, the present uh, present value of the money the present value of money is given to us as pv is uh, given to us as ten thousand dollars so we need to find the future value of this money uh, when it is in uh, when it is kept in a bank so let's say it is kept in a bank for interest rate i equals to 10 percent the time t equals to one year so we have our formula future value equals to present value into one plus i by n one plus uh, i by n raised to the power n into t so we need our n which is our number of compounding periods per year so we have our n which is which means compounded annually so what does compound annually mean i will explain this before it simply means that this 10 percent rate is going to be for our per year this 10 point 10, 10 percent interest rate for this sum of money uh, is is for per year so the interest is going to be calculated uh, for in per year once in a year so we have n equals to 10 percent so for a, a certain extra idea the, sorry the n is going to be one here n is going to be one so for uh so for um better understanding of this n the more the more is the number of the n the more uh, future value or the more profit we are going to get because the interests are going to be added quickly and quickly so there is a uh, so when n equals to infinity there is a concept called as continuous compounding which will, which will run in our future videos so in that case we are going to have maximum profit or the future is value is going to be maximum so we'll be learn learn that in future videos uh, so do subscribe the channel and like our video to stay tuned for all our contents regarding engineering economics so next so in order to calculate our future value future value equals to we have our present value as ten thousand dollars into one plus i so ten percent means zero point one so we're going to put zero point one divided by n is one and it's one so in our majority of the cases the n is going to be one because the interest rate in a banks on or uh, most of the cases the interest rate are going to be calculated annually so next we have uh, 1 into 1 so we are going to get 10,000 into uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 is 1.1 so we're going to simply get eleven thousand dollars so what does this refer to this simply refers to as uh, the ten thousand dollar in current time 
is going to be equal to uh, is going to be equal to eleven thousand dollar in one year of time in one year of time so if you are given an option of choosing ten thousand dollar at right now or choosing eleven thousand eleven thousand dollar in one period of uh, after one year so you so you will be uh, so you can choose any any of the options because you are uh, not going to be in profit or not going to be in loss but if you're given an option of choosing ten thousand dollars right now or let's say twelve thousand dollars or any sum of money greater than ten thousand dollar of uh, ten thousand dollar then you can wait a year because you're going to have more profit so this is what basically a uh, time value of money refers to now next video will be learning uh, learning about simple interest and compounding interest related to related to under our chapter time value of money so basically time value of money helps us to decide among different uh, different projects by calculating their uh, present worth annual worth or simply you can say by calculating their future value or present value you can compare between different projects and check whether the project uh, is a uh, uh, pr project is economically profitable or not so we'll be long so if you like our content do subscribe the channel and if you have any queries you can comment down below and do so and do follow the playlist for do follow the complete uh, playlist for time value of money thank you